What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today. So, we're back in the garage. We're working on the car like normal. It is the cold season. Time to make this car look right. And today we are actually doing some pieces for the interior. So I ordered this steering wheel about seven weeks ago. It finally came in from Dyna Performance. And I unboxed it. I took a look already and it is freaking mint. I always, I always heard the hype about them. Everyone said they're so good. And guys, I must say, it is well worth it. Check this steering wheel out. So I think it took about six, seven weeks to get here. Um, I did shoot him an email because about the time frame, but it was because some of the material that I wanted for my steering wheel was out of stock, but it comes super nice packaging, I must say. I was worried as long, as far as it was traveling, it was shipped extremely well. And there she is, boys. So I went with forged carbon on the top and the bottom, white strip in the middle, leather on the side. Do you know, I used to have Alcantara, I used to be a fan for that. I got that for the GTR steering wheel and after driving it for a bit, I don't know, I just kinda got sick of it and I like the leather feel for summertime because I do drive my car a lot in the summer and it turned out great. White stitching all the way through. Check out that dry carbon. Or I mean not dry carbon, forged carbon. I can't even talk. But yeah, this is gonna look sick. Matches the car perfect. I love the thickness of it, the grip. Everything about the steering wheel is on point. And um, I kind of jumped the gun on you guys a little bit, but I'm gonna walk you through and show you what I did. It's one of the most boring and most difficult steps about this whole thing, um, the airbag. And you're gonna see, I can show you right here. See these two clips? That's gonna be the big, biggest pain about doing this job. There's one clip on each side, you gotta use a little screwdriver, push it in there, and it pops, then you gotta like finesse, finesse, like little wiggle, wiggles the airbag so slightly, and it finally will pop out. I mean, I've been working on trying to get this airbag off for 30 minutes, first time I've ever did it, and I didn't wanna mess anything up, I didn't wanna scratch it, and unfortunately, I did scratch my side because I was sticking in the wrong hole. <laughs> because, I don't know if you guys can remember this, you'll see my paddle shifter uh, extenders are missing, and you'll see this little hole right there. It's kinda, you see it right there. That's the hole the screwdriver has to go into in order to pop that pin to get the airbag off. So, had to take, had to get the heat gun, had to warm up my paddle shifters without destroying any leather or plastic, and get that off. Which was a pain, but, once she is on, it is going to be so much worth it. Now I can jump in and pretty much get you guys up to speed on every little thing that I did. Nothing crazy much, but first thing you have to do is disconnect the battery. Pop your hood like so. There's going to be a few clips. I think there was three clips total. You can just slide this piece off to the side if you have a hood strut. Not a big deal. I took my positive cable off. Easiest one for me to get to. Took it off, slid it, prop it up on the side so it won't be able to touch. Solid, first step, complete. Now back into the interior. Now we're in the car and I can give you guys a better look on how to get this done. So if you guys are wondering, don't be alarmed by all the wires and stuff. It's a lot more simple than you think. These two clips right here are for the airbag. They just push in and clip as you can see how that one comes out. It's not a flip or anything. All you do, you'll see it connected to the airbag and this is the airbag. They pop right in like so, one and one, and you just pull it, pop it out on each side. Simple as that, and this piece right here, there's a little clip in the back. Just push it ever so slightly, it barely sticks out, but just be gentle with it. You're gonna need two hands to get that done. That's why I wasn't able to film. It's easier for me just to show you as I already got it done. So take that, put that off to the side, and you'll be able to see the clips I was talking about. And if you do have an automatic, make sure you don't have your paddle shift extenders on. That is a bad thing, I wish I didn't. I probably wouldn't have added them because I hated ripping them off and now it, it's, I gotta clean it and it's just, a, it's just a pain. So you'll see these clips right here. See that one and that one. That is the, where the hole comes through. Stick the screwdriver right through there and it pops. You gotta do one side at a time and if you're not careful enough, you'll actually clip it back in place, so be careful. Next step I gotta do is take the actual whole steering assembly off and it's this main bolt right there. I believe once I take that off, everything's gonna slide out. I don't see anything else that has to disconnect. Um, I believe everything else is just connected on here and it's gonna come right off and then I have to swap everything over to the new steering wheel. So I actually missed two clips. There was one right down in there. As you can see, that this is the one I'm holding and the main harness one for the top. 
And now we take off the bolt. I overlooked that, but now that I see it was kind of way the way the wires were kinked up, it was hard to tell. But I noticed it before. I was like, you know, let me just double check, look at all the wires, follow everything. And you guys could do the same. I don't think I'm missing anything else. I double checked everything, so it should be 100%. Now it's just time to remove the wheel. And when you remove the wheel, it has to come straight back. You might have to wiggle it just a smidge, everyone said, um, that I talked to. But you just unbolt it, pull it straight back, and you got to take all this, swap everything over, and slide the new one right back in. 99.9% .9 of the time you do not have to you will not need a, a alignment if you do this correctly So just be careful and take your time as you're doing it All right, so now once you got the steering wheel out slides right out and it's kind of perfect So it's like a hexagon um, you really can't mess that up It goes in one way comes out one way and once you got it like this. There's a bunch of little uh, screws It's like a little star key. I don't know what the name of it is, but I got that a little extension just so I didn't hit any or scratch any of the plastic. Just be careful, all these are kind of cheap and delicate. So have the steering wheel next to each other and just do one piece at a time. Swap everything over so it doesn't get too complicated for you. And after that, um, I'm gonna show you guys once I start taking it apart. So as you're doing this, make sure you are going extremely slow, take your time, and I started with the right side and I'm gonna work my way through. Since I've never done this before, there was another screw there and this was the paddle shifter. That is the paddle shifter piece, and this was the like media control piece, which was right there. Pop that out with a little flathead. Not crazy hard, but just slowly, guys. Take your time as you're doing this. Trust me, it, it looks complicated, but I'm as panicked as anyone else is right now, so take your time. It'll be all right. I'm not extremely mechanically inclined, and it's going pretty smooth. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting this done tonight 100% and you guys are going to see it so let's keep cranking on it and I'll pick it back up once I can show you guys a few more steps that I did. We have everything off, all the clips, everything undone. Um, well there is that one little one right there but I couldn't get but I'm trying to figure out how to take this whole plastic piece off. Once I take the plastic piece off it looks like all the wires are ran through the top and around the back. So once that comes off I'm pretty sure pop that right through the back, pull all these wires through from like where they're sitting as they are. So. Um, in case you have a bad memory like me, I'm gonna probably take a picture of where everything is ran through So I know um, where to pull them through on the new sting wheel just so I don't get confused on everything And I've been kind of laying everything out on how it should go on and keeping all the bolts separated So just take your time as you're doing it I'm gonna keep working on it trying to get this final piece off and start throwing everything back on the new wheel All right, so there you go just got done swapping the wires over and the plastic cover just got to prop everything back in, was just trying to tuck in some of the wires because if you have a heated steering wheel and you did not get the heated steering wheel option for your new one, these two wires will be left behind because they are connected obviously in the steering wheel. And the little wire that is connected to this, you can run it right along the side down the bottom and kind of bury it, tuck it in so it doesn't get in the way. And you should, get, and you should be good to go from there on. Next step is assembling all this stuff back on here. So we're gonna go step by step, do one side at a time, pick it up, show you guys, see how it looks, and make sure we're doing this right because it is a little tricky. All right, so we're finally tightening down on the left side. Paddle shifter is on, cruise control is on, and next piece is to do is, I think it is the audio controls. Yeah, this piece right here. So that, it's gonna clip in just like that. It's kind of easier just to clip it in first before you actually uh, start bolting it down because it makes it a lot more tricky. And there we go. That is a final masterpiece. Everything is buttoned up, clipped on, and plugged in. Thank God, I mean, it was a little difficult, not gonna lie, but we managed to get it done. This is the tricky part. I hope the clips don't give me a problem. We're gonna try to slide it back in. I'm gonna readjust, get in the car, but when to give you guys a look, this is everything all done. The steering wheel was worth the money, it was kind of expensive, but you know, screw it. Looks good in the car, and I like it a lot. And the only thing is, I need to get new paddle shift extenders, or they do sell carbon fiber ones, I might have to get them, but I really don't feel like taking this off and retaking everything back off, because to get to that, I have to remove all these things, all the buttons, front and back, to get the paddle shifters back off. So. I don't know, drop a comment if you wanna see that video, I'll probably get that done. But let's wrap up this one and throw it back on the car. Next step you guys gotta do is make sure you plug in that big wiring harness right at the top and tighten your bolt down to spec. 
and the rest we have is the two airbag plugs and the steering wheel is clipped in everything seems good to go it's straight I slide it right back on straight and it has two little guiders if you see that yellow dot right there and right there those slide right in that hole just to keep it straight also so you really can't mess up putting it back on but that's it so far next thing net last step is to throw the airbag on so let's try to knock this out and get it all wrapped up and got to turn the car on and make sure all the functions work also this is probably one of the best steering wheels i've ever seen and i'm not just saying this just because it's mine i love the gtr one but i don't know this is just like it's super clean it's super perfect i, I just i'm not a fan of the alcantara anymore that kind of like outgrew me like i, I don't know i was just kind of done with it but having the leather, white stitching, everything matching with the whole interior, someone please let me know if they sell Forge Carbon Dash, like the whole dash kit, everything. Like I might even rip up all this tacky carbon fiber because the steering wheel, straight up, guys, it just straight put on welfare. The white, how it pops, everything about it is just perfect. It really wasn't that bad of an install. Um, it was kind of like when you start seeing all the wires, once you start taking everything off, it's kind of a little nerve wracking. But like the main thing when you're doing this, just keep everything side by side, like both steering wheels. So it's just like just copy and pasting just one over to the next. Super easy. I, I am not mechanically inclined at all. I have a little bit. I say I'm not, but to some people, I'm, I, I'm, I am a lot. But I don't know. For me, it was it was kind of a walk in the park. Just take your time. Don't sweat it. And let me guys show you the tools that I use to get this done. You're going to need a series of small screwdrivers. Number one, this one to pop the thing to pop that little clip in the back. Y'all, you guys saw that one in the beginning. This to pop a lot of the clips because you're gonna have like a super weird angle. Move it, pop it, boom, done. Next one is you're gonna need the star tools. I don't even know the name of them. Someone please drop the name of that. Star tool is what it's called. An extension piece. And a little socket, a little swivel. That is all you need. Didn't use anything else. We have to fix this though. My paddle shift extenders, I don't know. I, I like these, like the feel of them, the steel, like it's metal, like you guys can, you can hear that, that is that is solid. I mean, I don't know. Drop a comment, let me know. I do want the carbon fiber ones, but they are $300 and I'm not trying to spend another $300 um, just on paddle shifters, that's kind of OD. So we might just throw these back on to be honest with y'all. Steering wheel, stock steering wheel, leather with heated and everything. If anyone wants it, hit me up. I still have my 2016 GT1 also, but this is all the stuff that's going to be left behind. This is for the heated steering wheel. I guess there's both controls on there. Those were not going back on, so there she sits. We have to throw the battery back on. I'm going to jump in the car, start it up, let it run for a bit, probably crack the garage, and uh, just go through the controls, make sure the audio, everything works. Um, obviously, can't test cruise control, but everything, we're just going to make sure everything has power to it. I double-checked to make sure everything was clipped. And yeah, that, I mean, that is a totally game changer. So let me wrap this up, wrap up the little things in the engine bay. Oh yeah, and here is another flathead that I had to use to pry these out. So let me get this back on and we'll jump back in the car, fire it up and see if everything works. She got that baby chop. Ford liked me so much, they threw a little better cam in it for me. Good lord, she looks dirty. And dirty means good for everyone that doesn't know. It's kind of like a Baltimore thing. Ah, the one thing I hate about taking off my battery, it resets everything. Okay, well the okay button's working. That works. Or somewhere, volume. Oh god, tell me this isn't working. Wait. Let's go. We got volume, boys. Controls. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Settings. Yes. We are in there. Let's go. Everything works. Thank God. Cruise control. I don't even want to click that car. Just freaking take off. But yeah, everything works, and I can't even explain how nice this feels. I kind of like those gauges. I didn't remember these were the stock gauges. Shit, I might have to rock that for a minute. I like that. That's like retro style. That's clean. With the steering wheel, 
peep that view, guys. That is perfect. We need to get rid of this, all this. It has to get changed. We're doing it this winter. We need to make this interior the nicest S550 interior on YouTube. We need to make it, so drop a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think of this because I didn't think it was going to be worth the money, and I heard a lot of good things, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just figure it out. Let's send it. Let's get it, and... Uh, Oh shoot, we forgot to check the paddles. That is a solid steering wheel setup, and don't worry, my garage is open. It is cracked. She's got the air coming in. But yeah, car sounds great. Interior looking fresh. And that is a wrap, oh god, my eyes burning from the 85. That is a wrap for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed, drop a like, drop a comment subscribe road to 100k we do have something awesome planned next year and i plan on going into detail with that in the next maybe two weeks i'm gonna drop the full details and one of my best friends we are dropping the full details on everything that we're about to do so it is gonna be sick please i promise promise stay tuned it is gonna be awesome maybe a solid five people know about what we're doing not even a lot of my close friends know it is insane so please stay tuned drop a comment you are not going to want to miss this and until the next time guys 